Good morning, my friends. It is Wednesday, September 2nd, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. And I do have my little cat who has finished her breakfast. She's trying to figure out if she wants some more, I think. Oh, going back for seconds. And I have with me the things that help me pray. St. Francis Blessing Birds. Jesus, Jesus, and Mary and the baby. Today, Job continues in a credible poem to speak of his despair. All he sees around him is death. His children have died. Everything that mattered to him is gone. And he sits in the dust. I love how the ancient people did that. When they were mourning, they would take the dust and just kind of rub it all over their bodies, put dirt on themselves, physically manifesting their pain, how bad they felt. They looked bad and felt bad. In our country, we just have to get up and go to work. <laughs> As Job is sitting in the dust, he's responding to his friends who've told him, God is fair, because, and you've done something wrong, which is why you're being punished. And Job uses these eloquent metaphors from nature. He says, my flesh is going to rot. But the tree is so different. A tree has hope, he says. Though cut down, it can still be removed, and its shoots will not cease. In other words, they knew enough about agriculture back then to know that a diseased limb could be cut off of a tree and the tree would be strengthened and grow again. And he says, how come a tree can be cut and still live and thrive and be stronger? But when I'm cut down, I rot and die. How is it that nature is able to rejuvenate itself? But when I die, my body doesn't come back. It just becomes dust. Is there any hope for me? Job looks at the natural world around him and sees examples of God's love. Even in his despair and hopelessness, he sees the wonders of nature. And he uses those wonders to talk to his friends and to God. He uses them in poetic language to speak about the human condition. Sometimes when I walk outside in my backyard, I, I wonder if God speaks through nature, what is God saying to me right now? I got some seeds at a hardware store that are little flowers and I tried to germinate them and plant them and like three of them have survived. <laughs> but one of them is really big and it's just beginning to bloom and I'm thinking, can I bloom like this flower? What are we doing when we don't look at the earth with reverence as if it's a teacher, an instructor, a guide? Even in his despair, Job looked around, noticed things, talked about them, marveled at how a tree, when you cut off its limb, can become healthier and stronger. Will we be able to do the same? To see in nature the hand of God? I guess it's up to us. Let us pray. Almighty God, in this time of pandemic, you give us time to look around. Help us to see your hand at work in this world, in the blooming of a flower, in the new plantings of the fall, in the rain, in the trees. We know that all around us are miracles of your making and that somehow in these miracles, you are speaking to us. Help us to listen to the animals, to the wind, to the beauty. We thank you for Job's honesty 
We thank you for these beautiful words and how he digs deep into human despair and is not afraid to look at it. Lord, bless those who are ill today, those who are dying. Bless those who cannot touch their loved ones because their loved ones are ill or in nursing homes. Bless those who have no work or who are financially in trouble. Bless this country. Help us to have a peaceful season of elections. Guide us, O oh Lord, in all that we do, that we may become better followers of you and listen to all that you tell us. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.